Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Athena and today's video is a very special one. It is the Everywhere Belt Bags. So I got the fleece version. They come in three different colors and I purchased all three of them. I used one of them and we're going to unbox the other two together. So these bags, if you don't know, their resale value has skyrocketed. These are like America's hottest commodity. Everyone wants them and they're basically really hard to find now. They're rarely any stores have them and people are just selling them for like three times the price. So before I get started, I just like to put my socials down below. If you want to check them out, I'm going to put my Instagram, my TikTok, my Patreon, and my OnlyFans. So let's get started. Okay, so just a disclaimer is that the price difference for the fleece one and the regular one is a little bit big. These are $58 with taxes and stuff. They end up being like $64. And with the regular one, they are retailing for $38. The thing is, these are both sold out and the people selling the regular ones are selling it for way over so around $70 and when I last checked on Poshmark these are selling for around $75 so I don't think it's a huge price difference if you are going to get them secondhand but if you're able to get them in store I would say just I don't know whatever you're going to maybe use it for I think these are going to gain a lot of popularity especially during the holiday season that's my little prediction so I really do like it I think it's really gorgeous I had this last year in the brown color so these only come three different colors burnt caramel white opal and black so this is the black version, obviously. It has the gold detailing, which I think is really pretty, compared to the regular cloth one. The regular cloth one just has silver. So I think this little detailing is really gorgeous, especially because gold is getting super popular and just gold jewelry, it just matches everything. I think it's gonna be really, really popular for the holiday season. So if I were you and you're looking into it, I would say just keep scouring the website and if you see it restock, just purchase it. And if you don't like it, you can always return it. So it's better to have it and test it out than have to pay a lot over retail and not be able to return it. So I do have the black one. I ended up taking off the tag and using this one to test it out because I was a bit scared about the other colors, if they would get dirty or if the quality would be as great. And just an FYI, I feel like the, the softness of it is a little bit different than last year's. I think it's not as soft and I feel like it might not be as durable if it were to get wet or if it were to, let's say I put it in the dryer after washing it. I don't think I would even ever really wash these because I feel like it would just completely fall apart. So the inside is the basic same standard as the usual. It has the Lululemon logo on here. It has this big pocket and the two side entrances. I think this is the extended strap because there are the two... Um, rubber band versions here but last year's I feel like I was still able to wear crossbody with no problem I think this one's just a little bit bigger which I prefer for wearing kind of sweatshirts stuff like that and when it first came in packaging this little logo was it had like a plastic kind of sticker covering it to protect it which I thought was really nice and it kind of made me a little concerned if this would scratch easily the fact that they had to protect it but from what I've used it I feel like it's still in basically perfect condition so I think it's a pretty good buy it also has this back pocket as well which the standard ones have I think this one fits a little bit more than the regular one just because I don't know if this they made this one slightly larger because of the fleece and the added like just extraness to it I want to also say that the back has absolutely no fleece except this top part. So I really like that. I feel like it would kind of rub against my clothing, especially if you have anything that's made out of Nulu, it would start to pill. So I like that it's just kind of flat and it feels like kind of satiny. And the straps have been held up pretty well. I've been a little bit rough on these bags and I feel like they've held up both this bag. And I felt like it's held up pretty well. I really do think it's very gorgeous, but for $68, I do I mean $64 because it retails for $58 with the extra taxes and stuff like that I don't know if I really think it's worth it I do think it's a really gorgeous bag but at the end of the day it doesn't really fit as much as I usually like to carry around just like a water bottle I know a lot of people live by these but I I just don't know I also think that because it's a seasonal piece you can't wear it in the summer once it starts getting hot out you just don't want to touch it I don't know I don't know if it's really worth the price. If you can get the regular cloth version, which are $38 retail, then I think that might be worth it a little bit more. Okay, and so we're gonna move on to the brand new ones. So this one is the white opal color. The strap looks like this. It's very gorgeous, I would say, but I honestly am like petrified of even taking it out of the packaging because I know it's gonna get absolutely destroyed. It just seems like the type that like, anything's gonna get it dirty. I have had the white um, fanny pack before, the regular version, and I just feel like it was just prone to disaster. I think this one would make it worse. And I think just the, the fleece of it would just 
like collect dirt, collect dust, collect anything that would make it dirty. I would honestly have to wear it in the front, which I usually like to wear them in the back. So I think that would be a little bit annoying, but I do really love this like beige color strap. And the brown one, I had this color last year and I thought it was absolutely gorgeous. I'm honestly surprised that they didn't come out with any new colors because last year when these released, they were super popular and they sold out almost immediately. And this was before they even had the fanny pack, well, the belt bag, like popularity. So it was sold out right before and I was surprised that they ended up not really coming out with new colors. I know that these are more like neutral fall colors, but I think they could have came out with like a maroon in this color. I think it would have been gorgeous, but unfortunately it didn't. I really do like this color though, the burnt caramel. It comes with the matte, well, I mean, they have a matching backpack, which I think would be really cool if you wear like a matching backpack with the fanny pack across, especially if you're going to go travel. I think it'd be such a cute little fit. So we're going to open this one up first. Like I said, the logo is gold and all the other detailing is gold, which I like that they kept for all of them instead of making some of them silver. I think the brown and the gold really go well together. So this is the way it's packaged. So I felt a bit of a difference because like I had mentioned before, this had like a, a kind of sealed sticker on it with the black one. This one doesn't. It's just basically packaged like this. But everywhere belt bag, fleece, color burnt caramel, one size. It doesn't say the price, but they are $58. And this is how the strap looks. So it is the extended, I think this one might be the actual extended strap. So it usually comes like this before they used to come kind of in the belt bag feature. I guess they know everyone wears them crossbody now, but in comparison, this is how a used one looks and this is how a brand new one looks. So it's not very much different. It kind of looks the same. It's definitely the same size. I don't know if I love this color. I know I was in love with it last year. I thought it was just the cutest thing, but now looking at it, especially in the light, I feel like it gives off more of like a yellowish tone, which isn't my favorite. I wish they had went with like the roasted brown color. I think that would have looked perfect. But overall, I think it still is really pretty. It's just, I don't know if this is my favorite out of the three, I would say. So the next one is the white opal color. Actually, no, this is natural ivy and the trench color mix. So I guess the trench color is the color of the strap because it is a different one. Let's open it up. This is absolutely gorgeous. I love it. Look how beautiful it looks, especially with any outfit. I feel like this would just like blow it out of the ballpark. This is, I just love this. I love the way the back color is like a little bit different, but it still just matches it really well. The strap is also the color of the outside of this. All the detailing is gold, like previously mentioned. I think only this is like a little bit silver for some reason. Oh wait, actually? I lied. This was actually fully silver. I didn't realize. So that's actually really odd. I feel like they would keep all of this gold. So just a comparison, you can tell like silver and gold, especially with the logos. I think that's really interesting because I feel like this would have been a lot better for a lot more people if this was gold, because like I said, it would match jewelry and gold is just super popular nowadays. Overall, I still think it's really beautiful and nobody's really going to notice these details unless you're looking closely or unless you're purchasing it. But I do think it's really gorgeous i don't know if it's worth the risk of like getting dirty i know that's like my huge thing is that i'm like oh i can't not stand if it gets dirty so i'm gonna put them on to show you with different out well the same outfit so you can kind of see the comparison in case you're debating a separate color all right and so this is the black one i try to wear the most neutral fit i knew this is how i usually tend to wear this one that i've realized mostly i really like this like body type cover and I like that I'm able to turn it around like I said it is a little bit bigger so when I wear like a sweatshirt or like a jacket it'll fit fine I still have space to make it smaller I can wear it like this if anyone wants to see it but I think it's just a little bit awkward I think it's a little bit bulky as well it's just not the way most people are wearing it I don't think it's as fashionable and like you can see the little gold detailing it all is really cute and all just adds together I just, I really like it. This is how it looks on the other side as well. If you want to show more of this like gold buckle. And so this is the burnt caramel color. I have to say this is not my favorite. Like I said, I had this one last year and I absolutely loved it. I'm not that much of a fan this year. So totally wear it like this or 
the belt version as well. I'm thinking it's just a little bit too close to my skin color that it's just kind of throwing me off. I don't know if I was wearing maybe like, I guess more neutral would look a little bit better, but I'm just honestly not really a huge fan of this one, but it is gold detailing, which I think is really cute. I like this, this little part and I like the little logo as well. It does zip just, just like the other ones do. The bottom is the same color as well. And now for the white opal color. So I really like that this is like kind of a rose gold color. This is how it looks if I were to wear it in the front. This one feels like the longest one, honestly. I feel like I would need to squeeze it a little bit more. I just unwrapped it to put it on. But I do like how it looks. I feel like it's a little bit, it looked better kind of when I was opening it. I feel like this compared to the color is just throwing me off a little bit. You can comment the same thing if you're feeling that way. I feel like it's just too much aggressive, like, discoloration like i can see where they're trying to come from but i feel like it's a little bit too much i've honestly never seen this one in person because when it came out last year it was the one that had sold out the quickest but honestly i'm not really a fan i would say this one i mean unless you really are into neutrals but i feel like it just clashes a little bit so this is how it would look if you were to wear it kind of as a fanny pack it looks a little bit better just because i feel like this is hidden a little bit more but just the way it is cross body i am just not a huge fan I really thought I would like it a lot more. And in the inside color is the same as this color. So kind of like a beige. Just, I guess it, this looks a little bit more, uh, this looks a little bit more rose gold than this one does. I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. You can let me know in the comments which one is your favorite and if I persuaded you to get one or absolutely not, you think the price tag's too absurd. If you like this video, you can like and subscribe and I'll be posting more content like this. You can also follow me on my Instagram, Patreon, OnlyFans, and TikTok. It'll all be down below. Thanks so much for watching.